Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. All right, Dash, go ahead and get started. All right. Jonathan, good to see you again, man. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, I guess just first of all, uh, um, I know the weight, having to recover from mono was a, was a challenge for you, but you got back on the mound yesterday through a couple of innings. Uh, looked like you had a pretty good, as Coach said, had a pretty good little three-pitch uh, mix. Uh, you know, working for you, top out at 95. Uh, just kind of kind of where are you right now? They're going to be on another pitch limit on Sunday, but uh, pretty pleased with how things worked out yesterday. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think it was just awesome and kind of a relief to just get back on the mound after sitting and watching for three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and then just with the long – a long time off after last season um it was just nice to get back out on the mound and with the team and get the w you don't mind me asking i know every anytime somebody has mono it, the, the weight loss is something that always happens how much did you have to kind of build back uh you know mass and all that once you uh had you know were diagnosed with it mm. i think i kind of had to make it a point of myself just to kind of eat when i didn't feel like eating and just <laughs> when i didn't when i felt bad um i ended up not losing much weight i probably okay. lost four or five pounds well, so good. Not Bad. so it was it was pretty easy to kind of build back but that weight though again you know before you get out of the mound you know and, and although those freshmen they picked you guys you and Ryan up you know you know pretty well but that weight just had to be killing you <laughs> oh yeah yeah it was tough but luckily we got a bunch of really talented freshmen that went out there and did a great job these last three weeks so hopefully it'll be kind of a relief now that me and Webb and Polk are, and guys are back and just kind of everyone gets on a normal schedule and moving forward into SEC play all right. Thanks, man. Jen May. Hey, Jonathan, um, you, you mentioned those freshmen there, you know, obviously with you and Ryan coming back, those guys are going to be, you know, jockeying for bullpen roles, maybe, maybe some midweek starts. How much is, you know, that depth and that competition going to make, you know, the whole staff better when, you know, you've, you've got to fight for every inning you you're going to get out there on the mound. Yeah. You know, I just think that having that depth as freshmen and being able to get all that experience. I know last year, getting that experience for me early in the year was just super crucial. And even though it wasn't a lot, just even the first few outings mean so much and just trying to get the nerves out of the way. I think the fact that all the freshmen and just about everyone on our team is thrown at least a little bit in a game situation. So having that little bit of experience moving into SEC play where roles may change and things may go crazy, who, who knows what's going to happen once that starts. People are going to be comfortable in different situations, and I think that'll just lead to more success for us as a team. And I guess as a guy that went through it last year, just how do you balance the the competition, the trying to make yourself stand out, all that stuff, with you know the fact that you're still teammates, you're still friends, you're all in this together. Sort of how does that balance go? Yeah, I mean it is it is difficult sometimes because your your teammates, your best friends, and at the end of the day, it's still competition, and it's and it's friendly competition. Um, I mean, you're, you're trying to go out there and do your best and contribute any way you can for your team. And you're never going to root, root against one of your teammates to do bad. So maybe you can step up. Um, but it's one of those things, once you get your opportunity, you have to make sure you make the most of it. And so once those big situations come up, your, your name will be called. So I think we've, we've had a lot of guys step up in big situations. I know just off the top of my head, guys like Colin Caldwell and Will Pearson and Jack Gowan from just the transition from last year to this year um, have been unbelievable in big spots for us. And the reason we've gotten a lot of these wins so far early in, early in the year. Thanks. Palmer. Yeah. Obviously while you were out, you saw some of those guys <clears throat> step in and, and play a bigger role. Um, what was the message that you shared with guys like Jaden and, and Luke as they were stepping into, you know, weekends, Charlie Goldstein too, as, as they were stepping into, you know, weekend starts. Yeah, I think it was most of it was just stay relaxed, just go out there and do your thing. Um, obviously, you just kind of kind of slow it down a little bit when you get to college. Your first few hours, you just try to go a million miles an hour, and it, it's the same game you've been playing your whole life. Just go out there and do your thing. All these guys have plenty of talent to go out there and be successful. It's just about staying relaxed and, and just doing your thing when you get up on the mound, not trying to press too hard. Catherine. Hey, Jonathan. So what is uh, your practice looking like for you um, in the coming weeks as you're continuing to recover? Yeah, I think right now is just kind of building stamina. I got two innings yesterday and then this weekend. I'm not sure officially what, what the pitch count will be, um, but stay on a pitch count for probably this weekend and next weekend as well. Um, just, just kind of building up to 100%. So I, I'm hoping by 
in the next two to three weeks, I'll be at, I'll be at full go and just kind of get on a routine once we sort of finalize when people are pitching and what what roles are going to be this year. And I think that's still kind of up in the air a little bit just before before league play starts. Thank you. All right, and then we'll finish up with Drew. Hey, Jonathan, just a couple of quick questions about your time before you got to Georgia. Um, a lot of the team is from the same state of Georgia. So did you like compete against these guys, whether it's like high school or travel ball? Yeah, I think a lot of the guys in my in my recruiting class, and including some of the guys above and below, I either played with or against or in the same organization. Uh, I know Michael Polk and Charlie Goldstein were both in my region in high school, um, Charlie at Alpharetta and Polk at Cambridge. And then so was uh, Buddy Floyd and Ryan Webb both going to Pope. So I got to compete with a lot of guys um, before I got here. And it was nice just to kind of get to know everyone. And you're, you're familiar. You see people on the travel ball circuit and at Lake Point playing all those summer games. So you do become familiar with a lot of people that you will be future teammates with. So it, it, it was nice to kind of know people and get to know them before you actually get here on campus. One last question. You talk about Lake Point with perfect game. And like East Cobb is obviously a big deal. So when you were being recruited, did um, Coach Strickland mainly focus on the high school route or did you come to like Lake Point and all that for recruiting? I think it's really tough for college coaches to kind of get out and recruit during high school season because we're playing in season right now. So when the summer circuit's going on, they're, they're, there's no season going on for, for college. So they're able to kind of get out to Lake Point, East Cobb, and they can see multiple games. Like at Lake Point, there's there could be eight games going on at one time. So they can just kind of hop from field to field. So I think it's definitely easier for them on the on the travel ball circuit to see more guys, more guys at once. Cool. Thanks, Jonathan. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. Yep. Thank you, guys.